Consider this pie chart. From the title, we can see that it shows the relative use of different browsers. If we were doing a presentation where we were showing that Chrome was the most commonly used browser, then a pie chart might be a good tool here. It clearly shows that Chrome is the browser king at this point in time. If instead, the goal was to discuss the details where you're interested in how Firefox fit into the whole picture, then the pie graph might not be the best choice. In the pie graph, it's pretty hard to identify the details, and it's pretty hard to compare Internet Explorer and Firefox, for example. If we wanted to talk more about the comparisons between various browsers, perhaps a bar graph would be a better choice. In a bar graph, it's a little easier to see that Internet Explorer is a bit more popular than Firefox, and that Safari is about half as popular as either of those. So, which is better, a pie chart or a bar graph? Well, it really depends on what your goal is. For a quick and easy comparison, the pie chart is great. For comparisons with a bit more detail being shown, allowing a variety of comparisons, a bar graph is usually a better choice. Again, keep in mind that a pie chart or a bar graph are a representation of a snapshot in time. If you predict that your audience would also be interested in whether these breakdowns are changing, that is, is Chrome's popularity currently on the rise or decline? You may want to be prepared with a good line graph or scatter plot showing these time-related trends. You should be starting to appreciate that all of these graphs have their purposes.